One of the challenges of converting a air-cooled Porsche to carburetors, PMO carburetors, Weber's, whatever, um, is often overlooked, and that's the fact that the fuel pump will come on as soon as you turn the key, because you don't have a cutoff switch or anything anymore. So one of the things that we did to this 82SC was we wanted to be able to add a uh, fuel pump cutoff switch just in case for some reason who knows uh, the owner wanted the accessories on but um, didn't want to flood the carbs or listen to the fuel pump run so what we did was we added this weatherproof um, relay because the original relay the wiring was a little suspect in this car i think someone's wired other things to it but um, we just wanted to make sure we had a fresh wire. So this guy now goes directly to the pump as well as coming off of a uh, fused power. So we've got everything we need there. And what we did was kind of neat to uh, make that thing switched. We have it so that the center console had two holes in there for AC, which of course no AC anymore. Well, not of course, but we did no AC. So what we have here are just two switches. And they are relatively small, so they can't carry the current. So we ended up just using them as the trigger. So the one switch on the left is actually hooked up. The switch on the right is simply for symmetry. So when we turn the car on, and you can tell it's on, there's the low fuel gauge. Nothing happens until we push the button. Now you can hear the fuel pump. And the way we wired this little guy is if the owner chooses to leave that button up all the time, the car works like a normal car with the key. But if he's sitting here and he says, I want to listen to my cool radio. Well, nobody wants to listen to the fuel pumps. Plus, we don't want to... Uh, the threat of uh, flooding the carbs or anything like that, he can just reach down and hit that little button. So nice thing is, since we wired this all through the trigger wire for the relay, then um, we can use that small switch and have really no impact. So fuel pump on, that'll be normal. And turn the car off, fuel pump goes off the way it should. And the power antenna actually works too. So we've got a little bit more tidying up, tie up a couple of these uh, wires, get everything tucked up underneath. But this little guy made a pretty good leap forward, putting in a cutoff switch and uh, using a new relay. So check us out at brightworks.com.